So recently one of our users asked for the ability to fire a Google Analytics custom event when you go to another page in a multi-step form. So now it's here. Before we move ahead, hey guys, my name's Wes. I work here at Insert Frame. And right now I'm gonna show you how to trigger a Google Analytics event with Framer Forms. So first, you're gonna to wanna to create a multi-step form using Framer Forms. If you don't know how, we've got a tutorial for you. It's in the top right corner of the screen. But if you have one already, you're good to go. Now we can move on to installing Google Analytics. If it's already on your site, you can skip this step. Otherwise, you want to follow along. First, open your site settings and then go to General. Then we're going to scroll down to the Google Analytics section right here. Now you're going to want to open up a new tab in your browser and go to your Google Analytics dashboard. I've got mine open already. And then we're just going to search right up here for measurement ID. Oh, there it is. Then we're just going to copy it, go back, paste it in here. Now hit save. And we're just going to publish our site. Hit update. And there we go. So now Google Analytics should be installed on your website. Now let's add a custom event to your form. So on the multi step form component, click analytics to add an integration. Now I'm just going to write a custom event that will be fired every time a new page is visited. I'm just going to call mine multi step form, but you call yours whatever. This way you can track visits to each form page and calculate things like drop off rates. The custom events value is set to the name of the page layer or the page number like page two. And I'll show you that here. So we've got ours set to purpose, feedback and bug. And that's going to be what the custom events value will be set to. Finally, we can check our Google Analytics dashboard to see the event data. So we're going to go into the dash. So we're just going to go into the sidebar, hit reports. Wait for it to load. And then we're just going to go to events here. Then you can scroll down to find your event name. Now, Currently mine's not there and yours won't be there either right away because it can take up to a day for the event to appear because Google Analytics doesn't show current day data. But once yours is there, you can click on the event to see but once yours is there, you can click on the event to see detailed information such as the charts from this page here. So that's how you set up Google Analytics to track your multi-step form in Framer. Hope this inspired you to build something really cool on Framer, and I'll see you later.